all right welcome back guys um so i got christian here christian keffer he's the deck that we were talking about it's like zoo landfall aggro is it naya yep naya, naya. just the three colors sweet so he's gonna give us a real quick deck tech um we don't have to go into too much details you know because he's still got the rest of the tournament to play and we don't want to give away any unfair advantage or anything like that but we can talk about it real quick yeah so um this looks a little bit like the zoo decks you've seen with like um you know wild nakatl and uh instead of playing the uh burning tree emissary goblin bushwhacker plan it's like a little bit uh fairer i guess uh, there's some removal, like I'm playing both Helix's paths to deal with creatures you don't want to deal with. Um, Bloodbraid Elf to get some value. And then the big thing is the three landfall creatures. So you've got Steplinks, Akum Hellhound, which they just printed, uh, and then Brushfire Elemental. Yeah. So Brushfire is just the two drop. It's a 1-1, one, one, but uh, it has haste and it can't be blocked with murder pipe creatures with power two or less. So all these guys get plus two, plus two whenever a land enters. Right. So you've got like and, your full twelve fetches. Yeah. So you twelve fetches and then um you know that's double the landfall triggers and then Renegade Rallyer can return lands, correct? Yeah. So yeah. you can just you know, get your go one drop, two drop, fetch land, yeah. get and then sure, just a turn three kill. So, so you can get four landfall triggers. So that yeah, that's almost certainly a turn three kill right yeah. there if you just like Steplinks or Hellhound, and then the the two drop. Yep. Or 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 just another one of these. Yeah. So that's so this is the coolest. Disgusting. This is the coolest card in the deck, really. Yeah, that Renegade Rally. You run a full four. Yep. Four, and then three Bloodbraid Elf. Mm -hmm. Top off the curve. Ren and six too would be sick. With yeah. The recurring lands. Mm -hmm. That's when I saw this deck pop up. Was in Ren and six. Ren and six came out. That's awesome. Wow, all the way back then, and uh, and it's well the. When when was uh Kumha Han printed? That was this past year. So before I was playing with just four step links and four uh uh plated geopede. Right. And then they gave us this stuff in Zendikar Rising, so that was sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that two drop is with haste. Oh, it's been nuts. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm hmm Yeah. Sweet. Have you seen uh, many other people on this? Uh I've <laughs> convinced a couple other people to play it and but... like they've liked it. I've got a couple people who have like switched onto it and they do some tuning, so they try out some different tech, like some people run Gore Clan Rampager, like other okay. Zoo decks. Um, uh, I think some other guys here are also running Zoo, but they have the uh, Bushwhacker package, but they're playing the Landfall creatures. Right. Awesome. Yeah. That's that, fun. Yeah, that is a sick list. I'm super excited to see it here. Yeah. Three Akum Hahan. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't go the full eight, just. I don't know. Seven, seven's enough yeah. of that effect. You gotta play with the numbers until you get it. Yeah, you don't want to see too many. Right. Because otherwise you're just top it, top decking them five turns in the game and they're not doing as much. But right. you definitely want one or two in your opening hand. Sick. All right. I um, think that'll be it for this. We'll go back to intermission. And there's only like five minutes left in the round, so it shouldn't be too much longer here. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks.